it's cold. Google, turn on lights. You got it, turning on three lights. In Hillsboro today, it'll be sunny, with a forecasted high of 72 and a low of 42. Currently, it's 47 and sunny. Oh, that's cold. 47 degrees Fahrenheit equal 8.333 degrees Celsius. That's a little cold for me. So let's unbox my little space heater here. Okay, for those who don't know that I built this entire room here, this office that I make my videos at. Some people like to call it the man cave, but I did not put a heater system. Now, I have this little portable heater system that blends in with my room, fits in with my color scheme here. This is a tiny space heater that I can have blasting right by my feet or right on the table, as you can see, so I get the heat. It is definitely cold in here. 47 is not the coldest that it gets. So I decided to pick up a space heater. And the reason why I chose this one because of the size and the wattage that it uses. So there's a little filter. There's a little handle grip. This is where the fan intakes blows out air and then the on and off switch we got the cable hanging out on the outside it's going to be around three to four feet it does have a little sensor here so if it ever tips it's going to turn off so if that clicks turns on it's going to turn off now again just because you have the power on and off in the back it doesn't mean that you don't have any other options to turn it on touch sensitive buttons there so you don't have to flip on switches look in the back and it really is lightweight here i like the colors and form factor of this little space heater and this for reference that my pixel 2xl some specs here is rated at 600 watts 60 hertz 120 volts so the switch in the back is the ultimate power here we go touch i can hear the fan and i can start feeling the heat there i don't see the coils being on like red that is a nice heat. My hands are cold. You know, working with cold hands, it's pretty hard to do. It's actually blowing towards my face. I can feel it. Oh, there we go. There's the sensor. As soon as it lifts, it turns off. There we go. As you can see, there's a little light indicator. What I like about this is that you can literally set this on a table. If you work in a cold office like me or even at a corporate office and you can't have one of those big space heaters, this is something that you might want to consider. It is hot. Like if I'm burning myself, you're going to get really good heat there. Don't touch it. Okay, so right now it's blowing forward. But let's say I want to blow more portion of the room and now we tap on that little recycle looking thing. As you can see right here, it's blowing from the right side turning up by itself right to the left and you're getting all that heat blow out but this is the heat and if i touch it again there's going to be a blue light and that blue light means just the fans it takes two seconds to heat up thermostat control overheat protection and flame resistant material here's a use scenario classroom office bedroom living room hotel so yeah this is something that i need that i'm gonna like it is a little loud for me to run while making the video but while I'm gonna heat up the room, prepare for the video, it definitely gets hot really fast. I like that. We'll see what it looks like with the lights off. Now this is the heat portion and I don't see the heated coils in there. Again, this is blowing hot air without the hot burning heating coils. So there you guys have it. If you want one for yourself, you already know what to do. Find it in the description down below. And as always, thank you for watching. And I will see you guys next time. I'm going to be warm.